I recently moved to a new apartment. The other day when I checked my mailbox, I was met with an accordion of coupons for the fancy grocery store in town that I normally don't shop at. Coupons were addressed to a person who I presume to have been a previous tenant. Uh, when with a closer look, I found these are special coupons that contain outstanding deals and are awarded to shoppers who spend a lot of money at the store. I try to live an honest life, but brothers, I want to use these coupons. Is it wrong for me to reap the locally grown fruits that have been sown by the stranger, or is this a victimless crime? Should I try to contact this person about their missing <laughs> oh, savings, man. or have I stumbled upon a gift from the cosmos? That's from Grocery Gifts in Seattle. Uh, it, I'm. <laughs> it's not a gift from the cosmos. It is. It's definitely not that. It is stealing. It's stealing. It's, like, it's a victim full crime. And but here's here's the here's the thing you have to weigh. And it has nothing to do with the great deals, the outstanding deals from these special coupons that you've got that you're really excited about. That has don't don't weigh that as part of the like thing at all. The question you need to answer is do you or do you not want to call the old tenant of your apartment and say, Hey, you forgot your coupons. <laughs> hey, come on back though. You forgot your coupons. I moved to North Dakota. No, oh, that's going to be a long way to drive to come get these outstanding coupons. <laughs> hey, I just went through all of your coupons. <laughs> these coupons They've seem pre touched. <laughs> they seem far more outstanding than your average coupon. <laughs> now you got to get back here, man. I will say though, Griffin, I must disagree in that it is it is somewhere between a victim full and a victim less crime. It is like victim neutral, I would say maybe, because Incorrect. I would say unless there's a mechanic here that I'm missing, when you use said coupon, I don't think there's any way that this previous tenant is gonna be like, Oh man, I was gonna use that coupon. Like So that you're saying you're saying like Travis, you're saying some really wild shit, but I don't want to figure out exactly what flavor. Okay. Um, are you saying that the vi- the the victim? I don't know a better word for it, which doesn't bode well. The victim will not get a text message when you artificially use their coupons against the law. Is that what you're saying? Yes. And I'm also saying if that person still goes to the store, I doubt very much that they're going to be like, "Hey, was I supposed to get any cool coupons?" <laughs> Okay, the sort of person, you don't watch TV much, but the sort of person who is going to get a huge accordion of super great coupons is the exact person that will go to the grocery store and say, hey, I was supposed to get a bunch of super good coupons in the mail. 100% guaranteed. But I get like bullshit coupons all the time that are just trying to suck me into These are outstanding coupons. deals. Outstanding value, Travis. Well, so... Just so I'm clear, for you, victimless crime means the victim will never catch you. <laughs> well, Is that what you're saying? I'm saying, listen, here's why it's a victimless crime. They don't get their super cool coupons. They call the store and they say, hey, I was supposed to get some super cool coupons, and they never came. And huh. now, they got coupons, you got coupons. Okay. Zodiac, Zodiac murders, victimless crime. Nope. Zodiac never murders. Cried, never cried very, that one. Very victimful. <laughs> Didn't put that one together. No, I would say no, <laughs> no victims. You can't call the store to get a new Zodiac killer victim. <laughs> so I would say that that qualifies as a victim full crime. You rob a bank, you take someone's money, they're insured they get the money back, victim less. Oh, geez. you're assuming a world where this person's been like, I mean, watching the count, cal- like checking the mail every day for the coupons they think they might are supposed to get. Well, I'm saying if someone sent me a surprise. Like a surprise envelope I was not expecting with a $100 bill in it, right? But before it ever gets to me, someone confiscates it, takes it, steals it. But I didn't even know I was going to get the $100. Did they really steal it from me? I'm in the exact same place I was before. And I didn't even know that there was $100 coming. I'm just saying. It's not the worst as opposed to walking up to someone who's holding a $100 bill, dreaming of the things they will buy with it and how it's going to change their life. And then you pull it out of their hands and you run away with it. I think that's worse. The morality of it isn't determined by how sad it makes someone. Uh, right? I mean, I don't know, Justin. Is it? If there's a trolley heading towards five people on trolley track, but you can flip a switch to make it go just hit one person. Uh huh. I feel like Travis would just like not be around that situation. 
and then I, it's so a victimless I would say get on crime. this trolley, and I'd say no. Yeah, I'm going to take no an thanks. Uber. Flip this switch to, hey, I want to do the trolley problem to you. And Travis is like, no. No. Kobe, I should How about you that flip shit? the switch? Yeah. I don't want to flip it. That's a huge decision that I can't possibly make. So I'm, I won't be deciding. But feel free to flip it however you like. I'm just saying, if you take that trolley problem and you say, here's five people, right? And they all suck. And here's one awesome person who does like really cool shit every day. It seems easy to me. I'm not literally going to discuss. We're the literally not going to okay. do the trolley problem. I'm saying someone should use these coupons. Someone should use these coupons. If the here is the <laughs> the fucking silver bullet for this question, it is a single sentence that goes like this: Should I try to contact this person about their missed savings? Yes. <laughs> like, yeah, that part's yes, right? Like, yes, you should definitely do that. But how hard should you try then, Justin? Let's Once. put it that way. One and done. But what if you don't have the person's contact info? So you contact your landlord or whatever, and you're like, hey, I need their information. And the landlord's like, I'm not giving you their information. Are you done at that point? Well, you could call the store if they're really that close to the person. Ooh, you call them and be like, it. Now just call it. call them and be like, Dylan's missing. <laughs> They'll probably know, you know, uh, a family member or somebody who you can get a hold of. If you call and you blow the whistle on yourself, like I have these coupons that aren't for me, they're just going to deactivate those coupons. You're going to come in and there's going to be a picture <laughs> of you on every register. It's like coupon thief. Don't let this fucking coupon thief use these coupons to get two cents off of each grape. I want to salt this, salt this stew a little bit and point out that by opening these coupons, you have already committed a felony. Well, <laughs> okay. Just, <laughs> at what point are coupons opened <laughs> they're i mean they're open that this person has investigated the outstandingness of the deal but unless it, it, it probably wasn't wrapped up in an envelope is what i'm saying so unless, like unless unless what unless what it, so you're saying that they got just got mailed a loose pile of coupons <laughs> it's an accordion of, it's lunatic. an accordion of of coupons here's what i'm an saying an unsealed accordion of yes. loose just here's what i'm saying set up it an was unless. not it did not travel through the us postal system this person is such an important customer it was hand delivered hand by delivered. a courier from the grocery store delivering them to a uh, like important customer by hand leave like transferred it from a velvet pillow to the mailbox and there's like a coupon for like 125% off your entire order. That's how important this customer is. They will make money by shopping at this store. One organ from any employee. Yes. Take your pick. And just just letting you know, Dylan has the best organs. <laughs> Dylan's got great. Everyone money. agrees Dylan is the big Johnson of organs. <laughs> But th by the way, throwing him away is a federal crime. Oh my God, he's right. P pretty sure that using the coupons is a big, a big okay. one. So you if just you went to federal prison for illegal use of coupons. Just a heads up from me, Travis McRae. Don't tell anyone what you're in for. Yeah, or. If you really feel like you can sell the outstandingness of the deal, <laughs> yeah. you may be able to win them over. You Just how what? great. Oh. No, you don't understand. I'm talking about 70 cents off Velveeta. Ooh. I'm talking about two for one Lucky Charms, all what? varieties. Like these were outstanding oh, deals. When I get out of here, man, I've got a lot of ketchup waiting for me. <laughs> <laughs> In a Walton Mayo. <laughs> I've Me and Andy it. Dufresne are going to have all the ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> Every week I've been stealing a little bit of the warden's Velveeta and shipping it to myself. <laughs> I've been chipping away at a hole in the prison that I keep behind a giant coupon <laughs> that I had blown up that, and hung on my wall. That day on the roof, tarring, tarring it up. I'll never forget listening to music and drinking a big bottle of Old El Paso Salsa. <laughs> That was 10% off. That was 10% off. It was but so 20% delicious. sweeter. I need a six pack of beer for my men. Okay, fine. I'll go get it. Well, not so fast. Hold on. Let me look at my book real quick. Hold on. How do you guys feel about Corona? Do you guys okay with Do you guys like Corona? Okay with Corona? Do you guys. Ooh. You guys like Corona? 
You like lacrosse? I know it's not alcoholic, but how are you? Okay, no lacrosse. Okay, go, go, go. 